What's up, Zendu Nation? Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a crisscross. So we're doing a crisscross tutorial. And in fact, we are doing it today underneath an old Colombian submarine that was actually owned by Christopher Columbus in the 1800s. Dude, and, uh, what the fuck are you talking about, man? What? It's not a submarine, it's a staircase. You wanna put money on that? Have fun on your submarine. He has no idea what he's talking about. It's a submarine. Nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the infamous crisscross. Now, the first thing you're going to want to notice is that, and I'm going to talk about this in every tutorial we do, it is the same fundamentals as you can see here of regular bounce. So my elbows are in, I'm jumping one to two inches off the ground, I'm on my toes, my knees are slightly bent, and as you can see, there's not a whole lot of movement. My forearms and wrists control the entire thing. So first and foremost, guys, that is the biggest part about doing any move, which I'll be talking about a ton until you're like, yo, Dan, shut up and stop talking about it, because it's super, super important to have that regular bounce form down. Now, once we have that, check out as I am crossing the rope, we're gonna go into how to properly cross your hands. So when crossing your hands, guys, it, think of it as putting guns in their holsters like in a Western movie. See how I'm putting them in there, pulling them back out, putting them in and pulling them back out. So when you're crossing your hands, the rhythm of your feet literally stays exactly the same. As I turn to the side here, you can see that I'm just bouncing one, two, three, four, like very same rhythm. And my hands are just going in and out and I'm keeping the rope tight the entire time. And that's where wrist control really plays a big role. So make sure that you're focusing more on your wrists than your feet. Now, uncrossing the hands, guys, pulling the guns out of their holsters. What I want you to see here when this goes into slow motion, here we go. Now, when they come back out, I'm just doing a little figure eight. Check it out. I'm crossing in, pulling back out. So this whole motion is really just a tiny figure eight in which you shouldn't be. A lot of people put too much effort into crossing the rope. They're like, okay, I'm going to cross the rope now. Don't do it that way. Just do regular bounce and then fold the hands over nice and easy. Do you see how I'm maintaining a, a lot of control here with this? It's solely because I have, um, I'm have. i just keeping a rhythm down and I'm keeping my hands coming over and crossing while I'm keeping the rhythm of my feet the same. So now how to practice, guys. What I'd recommend is starting off like I am in this shot where I'm just doing regular bounce. Okay, well now I'm doing different, but I'm doing some regular bounce like that and then across every three skips or every every five skips. So what I'd recommend to you guys first is start it off by just doing a cross every three to five skips until you can do it every time. Now variations, as you'll see here, this is running in place crisscross, which we will do its own tutorial on, but I just wanted you guys to see the rhythm. Look at the rhythm of my body. It never gets any different. It's still just that, you know, one, two, three, four, my feet touching the ground nice and simple and as i always say in these guys you're not going to be perfect right away and that's totally fine here at sun Dude fitness we expect you guys to be able to you know practice this brandon and i used to suck i guarantee you we used to suck at this so we didn't just get to this level of jumping rope we had to practice and practice and practice so i hope this tutorial was super helpful for you guys we hope to see you on the next one and guess what, guys? There's a free seven-day challenge where we teach you all this stuff, including all the little tricks that I'm doing that I used to not be able to do. So click the link below and check that out. See you guys next time. It's a fucking submarine.